It is time for Season 2's MAC Conference Championship, and it's going up against the 7-5 Cardinals of Ball State. Last week was a tough loss for us as we dropped our first and only conference game to Toledo 21-17, and that unranked loss dropped us from number 11 to number 21 in the country, and because of that, we were no longer in the projected college football playoff picture. Coming into this matchup, Ball State was another unranked team who finished 7-5 on the season with a 5-3 conference record, and they they had a notable win on the road against Florida to open up their season, but they too were also coming off of a loss last week 31-29 to to Miami. The Huskies obviously had the best secondary in the MAC conference, but Ball State very well could have the second best secondary in the conference, as well as senior quarterback Kyle Kelly on the other side of the ball for them, who had a pretty solid season throwing for 22 touchdowns and only 8 interceptions with almost 3,000 yards. Just like last week, this was going to be another tough matchup, but we needed this win if we wanted any chance at making it into the college football playoffs, so let's head on down to the field and get ready for this game. Jake Siebert had it lined up for the Huskies here in the Season 2 MAC Conference Championship, and we are underway as this would be into the end zone brought out by the Cardinals to the 20-yard line, and that is where the Ball State offense would start today, as they're going to start here, and it's going to be a handoff to Christian Davis up the right side. He has a first down and more for the Cardinals. A big first play of the game for them, picking up 17 yards as they're opening up with the no-huddle offense, trying to keep this Huskies defense on their toes. This is another handoff. That one going nowhere. The Huskies defensive line all over it. They have been playing amazing so far the second half of this season but that's another first down Cardinals looking strong to start their opening possession Christian Davis going down in the backfield a loss of one on the play bringing up second and 11 back to Christian Davis again cutting his way up the middle and that eight yard gain is going to make this a much more manageable third and three first of the game for the Cardinals trying to see if they can keep this drive alive and they will do that as he connects with Tanner Kazoyle first pass attempt of the day for the senior quarterback Kelly is going to be a completion for the first down. Cardinals going right back to the ground game after that, though, picking up four on that Christian Davis carry. Man in motion. It's going to be a sweep to the right side. Nick Munson has the first down and more. Pushed out at the five. First and goal to go for the Cardinals as it's going to be a handoff. Christian Davis gets the corner, beats a defender, and he finds his way into the end zone for a touchdown as the Cardinals strike first in this game. And that would now bring out Ethan Hampton in the NIU Huskies offense. Looking to answer back to Ball State's touchdown with one of their own here on their first drive. It's going to be a handoff to Jalen Poe. Ball State meeting him in the backfield, though. First play of the game for the Huskies going backwards. Play action now. Hampton rolling out to his right. It's going to be a check down down to Jake Applegate. The junior tight end picking up three yards on that carry. Third and eight. Longer than the Huskies would like. Hampton goes down. And that's going to be a three and out forced by the Cardinals on the Huskies' first possession. They're going to have to punt the ball away here, and this is going to be good field position for the Cardinals as they're taking it inside the 30. And Ball State only 27 yards away from another touchdown and going up two possessions on the Huskies. They've had lots of success in the ground game so far, and they aren't shying away from it as they're going back to Christian Davis again. He has room to run. Push down at the three. First and goal to go for the Cardinals. TJ Horton now in the game. He gets the pitch. And the sophomore back finds his way into the end zone for the Cardinals as they go up by 14. And this is not the way the Huskies wanted or expected to start this MAC Conference Championship game. In less than four minutes, they are already down two possessions as they need some points on the board this drive. Already going better than their first one, though, as they picked up a first down. Hampton back to throw. That would be completed for a pickup of eight to Jake Applegate. Jalen Poe now met in the backfield. This is going to be another third down for the the Huskies, Ball State's defense looking to get off the field. Hampton going, that's going to be completed. Thought it was possibly short, but the officials are going to give Kevin Shaughnessy the first down. And this drive stays alive for the Huskies as they're going with the wide receiver sweep. Kenji Lewis dropped in the backfield on that one for a loss of three. Another third down, setting up the halfback screen to Jalen Poe. Just barely picks it up before stepping out of bounds as we are under a minute to go here in the first quarter in Detroit now. Justin Lynch, the senior halfback, picking up 12 on that carry for a first down. And then Jalen 
Jalen Poe back in the game. Met immediately both last play and this play. Now another long third down for the Huskies. Third and 10. Hampton back to throw. It's going to be a check down to Kenji Lewis who turns this into plenty more. A pickup of 17 on that play from the senior receiver as that brings us to the end of the first quarter. Not the way the Huskies wanted to start this game at all. Ball State has dominated on both sides of the ball so far, but still plenty of time to play here in Detroit. The Huskies opening the second quarter here, knocking on the door of the end zone. Down 14-0, desperately needing to find it here on this drive. Second and seven, Kenji Lewis takes it right side, wide receiver sweep. He finds his way into the end zone and the senior gets the Huskies on the board. And it is back to being only a one possession lead as Ball State takes back over for the third time today. This Cardinals team looking to stay ahead of the Huskies as much as they can because as we've seen their defense can turn games around at any moment as they're going with the triple option. Kyle Kelly dropped in the backfield for a loss of one bringing up third and five. Haven't seen many of these for the Cardinals today but they will convert as that's a first down and more all the way inside the 10 to the end zone. Touchdown Cardinals as they extend this back to a two possession lead. Justin Bowick, the senior receiver, making that big play for the Cardinals and it's 21 to seven, NIU back down by 14. Speaking of 14, Kevin Shaughnessy there with that reception for a first down. But Jalen Poe going backwards on the very next play, second and 12, they're going right back to him. He manages to get back about four yards on that carry, third and eight. Huskies finding themselves in lots of third and longs today, that's gonna need to change if they want to stay in this game but Kenji Lewis coming up clutch for them again with another first down and now it's going to be a handoff right side Jalen Poe on the stretch play has some room to run inside the 20 yard line down to the 17 of Ball State NIU back in the red zone for the second time today Jalen Poe getting a breather Justin Lynch in the game for him gets the handoff out of the backfield just short of the first down marker third and one in the Wildcat formation Jalen Poe not even touched as the sophomore back takes it into the end zone for the second touchdown of the day for the Huskies. And if it continues this way, it looks like we could have a potential shootout here at Ford Field tonight. As we are closing in on almost over 40 points scored in the first half alone between these two teams. As Ball State picks up the first down there after the second effort by Christian Davis. Fresh set of downs. Kyle Kelly keeps it. He's going backwards. Hasn't done a great job of making reads on those option plays today. Day. Second and 14 going left side incomplete. Justin Boak had the big touchdown for them last drive, but the senior couldn't come down with that reception, bringing up a third and 14. This is going to be a short dump off to Christian Davis, but he's going to turn it into a pickup of 18 as Ball State converts on third and long. Fresh set of downs at midfield now. It's going to be a wide receiver sweep along the right side. A pickup of 18 for the Cardinals as this wide receiver sweep to Nick Munson will bring us to the two minute timeout. Huskies dropping him in the backfield for a loss of two. Second and 12. Kyle Kelly thrown right away. It's Nick Munson again has the first down this time. Getting the ball down to the 17 yard line of NIU. The Cardinals in the red zone looking to score across the middle. It's Nick Munson third time in a row. This time he finds the end zone for the Cardinals. And despite playing as great as they have had all season long, the Huskies defense just can't seem to get a stop against the Cardinals today. That's going to leave Ethan Hampton in this offense under a minute and a half to try to get down the field and put some points on the board before halftime and in just two plays he's already got them past midfield into Ball State territory looking that's going to be a short dump off to Jake Applegate the junior tight end would pick up the first down fresh set of downs back to throw left side wide open is Kevin Shaughnessy freshman inside the 10 yard line first in goal to go from the six Hampton back to throw again trying to set up the halfback screen to Jalen Poe that's going nowhere. Pickup of only one on that play. 47 seconds in counting. Left side, Kevin Shaughnessy short of the goal line. Third and goal to go from the three. It's going to be a pitch right side. Justin Lynch he finds his way into the end zone for the Huskies as they get another touchdown before halftime here. And just like that, it is only a seven point game once again. 32 seconds to go here in the first half. Fielded from the goal line. The football is on the ground. Justin Lynch 
picks it up. He's going to scoop and score, and the Huskies are going to tie it up here at 28 apiece before halftime. What a play by the NIU special team, Santana Banner, forcing the fumble for the Huskies. And Justin Lynch getting his second touchdown of the day. One offensive touchdown, one defensive touchdown. You don't see that much. And that seemed to spark some new life into the defense as they get a sack on Kyle Kelly there. Second and 18, Cardinals are just going to run this one out to halftime as that will do it. Slow start for the Huskies, but they managed to tie it back up. 28 apiece headed into halftime. Both teams with a dominant run game to start today in the first half. It looked like it was going to be nothing but Ball State early on in this one. But despite some big plays from the Cardinals, the Huskies have fought their way back into this one, and it's a brand new ball game headed into the second half here in Detroit. What a great way for NIU to end the first half, and now they have a chance for the first time today to take the lead. First play of the second half is a handoff to Jalen Poe, not going for any game. They're going right back to him again, and just barely fights his way back to the line of scrimmage. Third and 10 now, Hampton hit as he throws, incomplete, and Ball State is gonna force a three and out for the Huskies opening drive of the second half half here coming up big for them as they'll take over on offense it is going to be a wide receiver sweep here right side picking up nine yards already into husky territory here on their first set of downs second and one they're going to fake the sweep up to christian davis in the middle and the sophomore halfback gets a fresh set of downs here for ball state Sticking with the ground game? No, they're not. It's going to be play action. Kyle Kelly rolling out. He's going to take it himself. Sliding forward for six yards. Second and four now in the shotgun man in motion as they're running another sweep here. Ball State loving that play so far. It has had some success against the Huskies in the first half. They're trying to keep with it in the second as now it's going to be a play action rolling out to the right. Kyle Kelly almost intercepted. The Huskies defense with their first chance for a takeaway could not come away with the interception so Ball State will settle for three points and the Cardinals find themselves back on top over the Huskies. 31 to 28 as NIU takes back over. The ground game that's normally been working so well for the Huskies this season just has not been working well today. Ball State defensive line doing a great job of getting an initial push off of the line of scrimmage today as that brings up another third and one that's completed to Keyshawn Pipkin. Ethan Hampton not having much time to look downfield or take any shots been forced to go to a lot of his checkdowns just like that today. Jalen Poe met immediately at the line of scrimmage on that play bringing up a second and ten. Lynch in the game it's going to be play action rolling out to the right. Kevin Schott Shaughnessy with the first down. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. But that holding penalty would negate the first down, so instead of first and 10, it's second 20. They give it off to Jalen Poe. He gets back almost all the penalty yards there. Pick up of eight, but still a third and long. 12 to go to be specific. Hampton looking. He gets it off in time, but that's going to be intercepted by the Ball State defense. The senior Joey Stemmler coming away with the INT for the Ball State secondary, and they have great field position. Starting at their own 30-yard line, almost in field goal position position already is on second and nine. Tanner Cazoyle steps out of bounds. He had a clear path to the first down though. So instead of that, it's third and seven. Kyle Kelly, quick throw left side. That's going to be completed for a first and more. Down to the NIU 18 yard line. Ball State definitely thinking end zone on this possession as Kyle Kelly is hit and he would barely get that one off in time. So it would be an incomplete bringing up second and 10 here. Just over two minutes to go in the third quarter. It's going to be a quick halfback screen to Christian Davis. He is dropped in the backfield for a loss so a long third and 11 huskies hoping to get the stop here kyle kelly looking he goes left that's completed to coil but his tight end would be short of the first down so the field goal unit would come out for their second time today and that would make it two for two and it was now a six point lead for ball state 34 to 28 leading over the huskies with a minute and a half here to go in the third quarter finally one of the first big plays of the day for the huskies through the air that's completed to kenji lewis getting them down to the 41 yard line. And I use offense. It's going to need more plays like that if they want to win this game as they're sticking with the ground game here. Jalen Poe fighting forward. He's only going to pick up three. Another third down. A minute to go here. Hampton Going left side, checks it down to Jake Applegate inside Ball State territory, down to the 40-yard line. 
Now a man in motion. It's going to be a fake sweep up the middle to Lynch, who has the first down. Brought down at the 27-yard line. Another good chunk play there for the Huskies as they are driving here. It's going to be another fake sweep up the middle again to Poe this time. Only picks up three. Play action now. Hampton rolling out to the right. He's scanning. He's looking. That's going to be completed inside the 10-yard line. The senior Kenji Lewis setting up first in goal to go here as time will expire in the third quarter. And we head to the fourth. One left to play. Ball State 34, NIU 28. The Huskies being very close to taking the lead back here. First and goal inside the 10 to start the fourth quarter. It's Kenji Lewis and he will do just that as the senior receiver gets into the end zone for the Huskies and they'll take the lead back pending the extra point. And it is now 35 to 34, NIU with the lead over Ball State as Kyle Kelly in the Cardinals offense comes back on the field. First play is gonna be a handoff to Christian Davis who picks up six yards, second and four now. Double tight to the left. It's going to be play action. Kelly dropped for a loss. The second sack of the day for the Huskies defense bringing up a long third and 14. Kelly back to throw. He's scanning. He's going to step up. Take it himself. Has the first down. Sliding forward. A pickup of 18 on the play. First and 10 as they're going back to the passing game here. Kyle Kelly hit and body slammed into the ground. Going nowhere. Back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10, quick receiver screen to the left. It's Christian Davis. He has the corner down to the 49. A big play there for the Cardinals, getting them just short of midfield. Fresh set of downs. Man in motion in the backfield. Kyle Kelly pump faking, going deep down the right side. He has receiver. It's caught and held on to Justin Bowick, the senior receiver with the huge play there for the Cardinals. Setting them up with prime field position to take this lead back. Second and six. And off Christian Davis met immediately. Time to see if the Huskies defense can hold them on third and three and force a field goal. Kelly to the end zone. That's going to be just short, actually. So the Huskies defense gets off the field on third down and holds Ball State to their third field goal of the day. And with 3.47 to go here in the game, it is only a two point lead for the Cardinals. That first play for the Huskies going back for a loss of one. Man in motion now. It's going to be a wide receiver sweep to Kenji Lewis trying to get the corner, but he can't. Still managing to pick up five on that carry though. Third and six. It's going to be a handoff to Jalen Poe who has the first down. Great second effort there by the sophomore back. Hampton back to throw now on first and ten. Has Jake Applegate for the first. Bringing that down to the 40 yard line as Hampton back to throw. And that's completed to Keyshawn Pipkin. That's two first downs in a row for the Huskies as we are about two and a half minutes to go in this game. Hampton's pass there falling incomplete. Bringing up second and ten from the 49 of Ball State. That's going to be a check down left side. But again, Keyshawn Pipkin can't hold on to it. Third down for the Huskies. Jake Applegate has it, has the first. And this drive stays alive for the Huskies as this play should bring us to the two minute timeout. Bad throw. Kyle Thomas hauls it in. Now receiver in motion. They're going back to the sweep. Kenji Lewis inside the 20. Has the first down inside the 10. First and goal to go for the Huskies as they're trying to drain as much clock off as they can. Jalen Poe down to the five. Ball State is going to use their first time out here. Second and goal. Another handoff. Jalen Poe short of the end zone. Ball State uses their second time out. Looked like he was trying to stay out of the end zone intentionally. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. No, it won't. Jalen Poe gets his way into the end zone. The Huskies take the lead over Ball State, but the Cardinals still have one time out and a minute 15 to try to get themselves down the field. They need a touchdown to win this game. A field goal will do the no good. So we will see what senior quarterback Kyle Kelly can do for his offense here. First and 10 across the middle that's completed. And in just two plays already, the Cardinals up to the 40 yard line, nearing midfield, looking over to the sideline, saving that last time out. Kelly across the middle incomplete. Nick Munson has made some big plays for them today, but could not hold on to that one, but it will stop the clock. Second and 10, Kelly Back to throw, pressure coming, and he barely gets that one off in time. Third and 10, that stops the clock again. Immediately forced out of the pocket, throwing back left side. He has Christian Davis, who spins away from one defender, pushed out of bounds. A huge 47-yard pickup for the Cardinals, and it saves their last timeout as well. And now going right side inside the 10-yard line. Jeffrey Simmons bringing it down to the one. First and goal to go for the Cardinals. Christian Davis in the backfield. 
Kyle Kelly steps up, takes it into the end zone untouched, and the Cardinals are going to take the lead back over the Huskies here. Only 32 seconds remain as they will go for a two-point conversion. Wide receiver sweep here is no good. So now all the Huskies are going to have to do is get down into field goal range and they will have a chance to win it as this kickoff is going to take some more time off the clock. And now senior quarterback Ethan Hampton has 28 seconds to try to get his team down the field. His first pass over to the right sideline is going to fall incomplete. Second and 10 back to throw going deep right side that's completed Kenji Lewis hauling it in down to the 42 yard line NIU uses its first time out two remaining Hampton hit as he throws barely gets that one off in time 13 seconds to go taking a shot left side almost intercepted a dangerous throw there from Hampton only 10 seconds left they need to take a deep shot here he's going left side knocked incomplete fourth and 10 this is the game four seconds to go Hampton taking a shot right side it's incomplete Ball State will take over Kyle Kelly will come out in victory formation and take a knee for the Cardinals as they'll win this one and what a game this was as the Huskies cannot pull off the comeback and the Ball State Cardinals are going to win the Season 2 MAC Championship thanks in part to a huge game from their senior quarterback Kyle Kelly. The Huskies going back and forth all day long with the Cardinals in this one but unfortunately their defense just gave up too many big plays throughout the game and that would allow the Cardinals to come out on top here in Season number 2. It's going to be tough to win games when you give up almost 500 yards of total offense to your opponent and the only bright side from that loss is going to be that we got three star center Titus Gibbs to commit. Drew Aller would be your season number two Heisman Trophy winner and we would end up clinching a spot in the Camellia Bowl where we would be taking on the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. That MAC Conference Championship was a tough loss to swallow but we're gonna see if we can bounce back and end our season on the high notes. We get ready to take on Louisiana in our season two bowl game next episode.